can't tell if this is focused. I'm just going to have to like hope for the best, aren't I? I'm using a different camera. I'm using a totally different camera than I've ever filmed these videos on. Have I got a hair on my lip? Yes, I did. Today is a distracted kind of day. <laughs> beautiful ladies and gents welcome to today's video which is a big plus size she in try on haul um i just want to start by saying i am filming on a totally new camera like a totally it's not new i've had the camera for a while but i don't normally film these videos on it and I, it just looks very different like i'm not used to that this much is on show i don't know it's weird does it look okay are you moving loads as well as i move Oh, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Right, anyway, we're just gonna, let's just start. So, I will be declaring this video as an ad, and I am gonna go back and um, put ad by all of my Shein videos, and let me explain why, and why I didn't in the first place. So, all of the items in this video have been gifted to me from Shein. I've not been paid to do this, and they don't dictate what I say or the opinions I have about the items or anything like that. They just send me the stuff. But because of the new ASA, um, I think that's it, guidelines, um, it basically states that if you've been paid, inclu which includes gifted items, and if they've had any control over the content you produce with those items, which includes discount codes, um, then you have to declare it as an advert. So I am gonna be having to put that at the start because I've seen a lot of people, even really small content creators, getting pulled up on this and being flagged to the ASA and it's just like freaking me out. So I just wanna make sure I'm covered. So just so you know, I've not been paid to do this, but because they've sent me the items and they've asked me to, um, they asked me to obviously do a video and they asked me to put pictures on my Instagram if the items fit and I like them. And they've asked me to include a discount code that then counts as an ad. So there we go. But all opinions are completely my own. Um, she and don't at all influence or, or try to dictate what I can and can't say. So yeah, no one could dictate what this. Okay, <laughs> no one. And now I've got something in my eye. I think I got it right. Because I've done a few of these Shein hauls now and I've been working for them maybe for nearly a year now. I think my, my first time I worked with them was maybe last summer. Um, maybe earlier than that though, maybe nearly a year. Um, I just always, they, they let me pick what I want and I just pick items that I like. But this time I really was like, you know what, I've worked with them for a while. I really want to pick stuff that I can really imagine like whole outfits and different looks in or the items that as soon as I saw them they instantly sparked like a outfit idea um or a look uh, that I could wear in that item so this item was first and I'm so excited to try it on I, I haven't tried stuff on as I'm filming this so it's this beautiful red polka dot dress this is the uh waist tie thing so let me just get rid of that um yeah it's like uh this wrap around like plunging neck um lovely long sleeve polka dot dress it's got these lovely elasticated sleeves um i love a long sleeve dress i always always have i sometimes wonder if it goes back to the fact that i think most of the women in my family had long sleeved uh, wedding dresses but my mum definitely did and I just thought that was like the beautiful, most beautiful thing I'd ever seen so I've just become obsessed with long sleeved dresses. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm over analysing that but <laughs> yeah. It's long, it's like a midi dress um, but a, uh, well off I think it looks like it's going to be a longer midi dress. You know how some midi dresses can be like, I don't know shorter or longer <laughs> i feel like this is gonna be a longer one um but honestly the fabric is so delightful oh it's got like a little it is like a wrap around 
so it's got like a little split thing going on but i don't think that's going to show as a split when you're wearing it um the fabric is so lovely like so much nicer than i thought it was going to be in all honesty like I, I ordered it thinking please don't be that like sweaty cheap primarky type fabric that i hate because i feel like this is a really lovely dress and um i really don't want that <laughs> um and it's not it's really lovely um it's nice and light which is what i wanted um but i've just got this whole mini mouse themed look planned in my head that i just think is going to be beautiful um because i got the mini mouse vans and i just got some other mini mouse accessories and i was like oh my god and i'm in disney mode because i'm going back to florida soon so yeah i can't wait but also just of a night time this will be stunning because everyone tells me red is my color is it um yeah everyone tells me that red's my color so um, and compliments me on it when i wear it so i thought i don't own a red dress do i no i don't think i do so yay buzzing <laughs> lovely in it and at first I had this bit untucked when I first tried it on let me show you and I was like oh it's very covered up um but it's actually just this like lovely like where the seam is um so yeah just tuck that bad boy in and gorgeous I showed you kind of the two ways you can wear the sleeve I think I love it like this today but um, just like looks a bit more flouncy it's just folded up but you can put them all the way down and have them be proper full length sleeves I can just imagine this dress in so many different scenarios like I'd wear this to a Disney park you could wear this to work you could wear it out on a night you could wear it like a million different ways it's so gorgeous depending on the way it's styled and honestly it feels fancy like if I'd bought this for like 35 quid from ASOS I would be so chuffed because it's just such lovely quality like I can't explain it the length is gorgeous as well do you see what I mean when I said it was like a longer midi I mean yeah but imagine with some little heels there's a million different ways I think you could style it can you tell I just feel like a princess because I'm just like flouncing around my room but seriously I feel so good in this and that's exactly what I want from my clothes all the time is just to feel good in them I feel so good in this I love it so much yay I'm so happy I've just realized literally as I'm sitting here I've got a bit of a color scheme going on because this next item is a white sweatshirt but on the sleeves We've got some red, so red and white, and then the other two items are both pink. Hmm, did I do that on purpose? No, I did not, but here we are. Um, I fell in love with this. Oh, sizing. Let's see. You know what I did this time? The, the red dress doesn't have a size on it. You know what I did this time, though? I deliberately got the biggest size that they had to offer of each item at the time when I picked them. Um, I'll tell you what they are, but the red one doesn't have it on it, and I can't remember if I... But I went for the bit, not the biggest item overall, because I know for the red dress, I think it was only one or two sizes left in it when I wanted it. So um, I, it, that definitely wasn't the biggest size they had. But maybe a couple of items were, um, especially for jumpers. Every time I've got a jumper from them, I've got in my size, or I've done what I normally do with jumpers, is I go one size up because I am very busty. Um, and I prefer my jumpers loose and baggy. I don't really like tight clothes, to be honest, at all. Um, but especially not knitwear. 
So I've always got one size up. So I deliberately on Shein applied the same rule. I went one size up than what it said I should be. Um, but they've never been oversized enough for my liking. So this time, yeah, this, so this jumper is a 3XL um, and I, I instantly, I have an outfit in mind that is very Spice Girls and yeah, you guys should just go and look at my Instagram ready for these because they're going to be some piping hot looks. Look, it says 90s baby, which I am a 90s baby um, and then the red and the blue and they're like velvet. Really nice quality, although this does have, as you can see, a few loose threads um, on it actually all over um, which is annoying but this is nice and um, not too thick not too thin and normally I want every sweatshirt to be that super soft fuzzy material on the inside and this isn't but it's nice it's not scratchy it, it's still soft it's just not that lovely fluffy stuff I love but um yeah I got this in a 3XL did I already say that I'm just so excited by this jumper. I just I instantly was like, I know exactly how I'm gonna wear that, buzzing. And I'll, I know I'll live in that jumper, I just know I will. I love a good oversized sweatshirt. <laughs> It's exactly the fit I wanted it to have, just real baggy, oversized. I didn't realise it came with these little side zips, which are pretty cool. Oh, and they actually do, you can actually unzip them. Let's see what that looks like. I like that, actually. That kind of just adds full over dress, right? Style it out. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I like that, it's kind of cool. Like, a little split either side, and it's not, it's placed in the perfect place that when you're like wearing your leggings, you're not flashing anything. It just adds a little bit of, I don't know, it's just cool, isn't it? Um, I will say that the like 90s this bit is a bit far left, isn't it? But I think that might be because I deliberately bought this in a big size, so I think it's like too big for me. Maybe if it was the right size, it would be Kind of here where I thought it would be. I'm just gonna have to like tug it, tug it over that way. Um, no, I love it. It's so comfy. I. This is one of those hauls where I genuinely don't know which one I wear more because I think I wear them all a crazy amount. This I will live in though, because <laughs> it's just like one of those things that's like a chuck on outfit. Listen, I'm an unwell person. If you don't know, I have <laughs> chronic disease, and. Um, I'm at hospitals a lot and stuff like that, so I need clothes that are comfy, but it really affects my self-esteem when I don't dress how I feel nice. Like, it, it just always has. I think that's another reason why I have such a big thing about, like, clothes and loving clothes. Um, and this is one of those things where I can chuck it on and be really comfy, even at hospital, but I still feel cool and it's got some style and it feels like me and do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm always on the hunt for clothes like that these days, and this is just a dream. Y you're gonna just want to see the way I style this. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> this has been such a successful haul. Wow. I couldn't be happier. I'm really worried now that you guys are gonna be moving loads. It's gonna give you motion sickness when I watch this back. Because my camera is essentially stood up on a tripod on my bed, but I've put it on something to sturdy it. But I don't think it's enough. I think it's still rocking loads. I'm really sorry for moving loads. Right, the next item. I'm trying to pull things over without moving the camera now. Ooh. Now I'm paranoid. I can't tell if you're moving or not. Anyway, this item I got in, and again, a 3XL and... I'm obsessed with these type of jumpers. I own a few of them, um, but one of them, which 
might be my favourite I think I've ruined it got it it's like white and it was from Zara and I think I got lipstick on it and I just can't seem to get it out <laughs> it was lipstick or nail varnish I think it was lipstick um so I got this to replace that oh, how gorgeous is that a big pink sweatshirt again not fluffy but very soft and nice on the inside um it's actually surprisingly light but obviously the sleeves are quite heavy but yes sequins and fur how yes how stunning is that and again as soon as i ordered this i knew exactly the outfit i wanted to wear with it like instantly i was like yes that with that and those shoes and that bag and that hair and that makeup and yeah i'm just really excited to buy these clothes today can you tell <laughs> this jumper there's nothing like lining the sequin bit on the inside so it is a little bit scratchy but because the arms are quite bad I know they don't really look it maybe but because the arms are quite baggy it's not all the time it's just like every now and then you're moving yourself when you're like oh what's that it's the sequins um which you get with all sequin stuff actually no inside it is lined that's that's weird why is it i think it's just like the odd bit is like coming actually is it the seams oh my god i stand corrected it's actually the seams that are itchy it's actually not the sequin bit at all um it's the seams which makes sense why when you move certain places it yeah that's really weird um i do adore this though by the way i just chucked on the first thing i could grab which was this leggings and this black skirt i wouldn't style these things this way um if you want to see how i style them go and check out my instagram but um yeah i just showed that you can like you can tuck it up if you want to wear it with like a skirt and you want it a bit shorter but it is quite long actually like I, you could wear it with leggings it covers my whole bum um, if you wanted to, I love this. I love it. I just feel fancy. It's like, this is the perfect thing for when you want to put on a, like just a baggy sweatshirt, but you also want to be like a little bit jazzy, which is always for me. Um, and I love, again, I love the shade of pink. I love the color of the sequins. They're like, like a lilac-y silver. I don't know. It's just really lovely. And the fur is very, very soft and lovely and thick. Um, I, c I just know I'll wear this loads. Um, so yeah, I'm a happy Jess. <laughs> this one's label has come off, so I can't really read, but I feel like it says it's a 4XL, which it definitely doesn't look like. Like, that is the thing, is that Shein's sizing is still, it's got a lot better, even since I first worked with them, but it's, um, it's still fairly inconsistent. Um, which is why I've only ever got one pair of like trousers from them because I'm very hard to buy for for bottom half stuff anyway. Um, I have a very big sticky outy bottom and a smaller waist, so nothing ever fits me right. Um, I always get gaping and oh, it's, it's not pretty. Um, it's a, a big reason why I wear a lot of dresses. As obviously, I'm very girly and I love dresses too, but. It is a big reason why I wear a lot of dresses because I just can't find things that fit right. Um, but yeah, like this is a 4XL and the other items are a 3XL and this is what looks to me on a hanger way smaller. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling. It's a pink hoodie. This gave me Wild Fox vibes and I used to love Wild Fox. And then when the, um, I think she was the artistic director or I don't know, the, the artist that was working with them at the time left. 
I've just not liked their stuff since. It's become very top shoppy, where to me before it was all very whimsical and like dreamy and I own a lot of their stuff from back then. And I haven't bought stuff in ages. Number one, because I don't know if, it even, if they even do my size. But number two, because it's just not as whimsical. But this reminded me of old school Wild Fox. It says, I'm a unicorn, because I am in fact a unicorn. And the thing that sold it to me was this cute little hood. Let me show you. I don't know a way to show you this. Ah, it's got a unicorn horn and ears. Oh, I just thought it was adorable. I just thought it was adorable. And actually, I spotted this way back um, when I first started working with them on their website. Um, and then it just seemed to get lost. I mean, they do have thousands and thousands of things on their website. So I, I, I just never found it again. When it came up this time, I was like, you are mine, baby. Yes, you are. Um, still looks lovely and big, but I don't know. I think this is just going to fit like a normal hoodie on me, where according to their size chart, this should be very oversized on me, but I just don't think it's going to be. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> if I look like a unicorn or a dickhead <laughs> or a Teletubby it's giving me kind of Teletubby vibes is it not why do the ears keep doing that and then I anyway I probably wouldn't be wandering around in public with the hood up I mean unless it rained and I'd totally forget that was there and just put it up but very very cute and again like I kind of knew it's not as oversized as I wanted, as I thought it would be, because according to their size chart, this should be like very, very big on me. And as you can see, it's not. But it is so soft and comfortable, I can't even explain it. It's just like the easiest thing in the world to wear. And I love a pullover hoodie that has this pocket, because I'll just like live like this all day and all night. And when I walk around, this is what I'll be walking around like. <laughs> I just love it and I, I love these and I like that they're long. I hate when they're like little stubby ones. Um, so yeah, I love this hoodie. I don't know what else to say. All positives from me. It is just so lovely to wear. <laughs> it feels really nice on, I don't know what to say. And I like the pink. It's like an unusual pink. It's kind of like a, um, I don't know. I wouldn't call it dusty pink. I wouldn't call it peachy pink. It's like in between them all, um, but I love it. Yay! So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you to Shein for gifting me these items. I hope you guys understood and weren't bored by my whole ad spiel at the beginning of the video. I just want to be really transparent and clear, and I know that it can be very confusing, um, especially now because they're seeming to make anyone that works with any kind of brand in any capacity have to declare things that... I don't think a normal consumer would consider an advert or an advertisement, but there you go, that's just me. Um, but yes, I love my items. Again, at this point, I still haven't tried them on. I'm praying they fit, please fit. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm having a beautiful day. Please do like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you like this type of content. I do lots of hauls as you can see if you go back through my channel. Um, I'm a shopaholic and I'm actually selling a load of my clothes at the moment um, on my insta stories is where I'm like listing them. So yeah anyway I'm gonna go. That is the biggest pigeon outside and I hate birds and it's really close to my window, I don't like it.
anyway <laughs> bye